Tonight, we broke out the soapbox to hear from people in District 4, home of Councilman Mark Conway. Fox 45's Jeff Abel hears their concerns about where the city government is working for them. Welcome to Baltimore's 4th District. It's home to Belvedere Square and some 40,000 residents. It's also the final stop for our soapbox. Okay, well, first thing I really want to talk about is car insurance. At the end of a 14 district tour. I think it's overrated. I think it's, it's too expensive. There's a lot of money that goes into the city, but there's still a lot of roads that's raggedy. Things ain't done. Trash is late. You got rodents out here. You got these kids out here going crazy. Uh, there's no sense of... Uh, security for safety. Councilman Mark Conway has represented this North Baltimore district for the past four years. Who is your city council person? Oh man, like I say, all I know is Brandon Scott is the mayor. Who's your city council person? I really don't know. This woman is a retiree. I'm in um, eighth grade. This one is 14. Apparently the government hasn't given us enough money to actually have supplies, so the students and their parents have to go out of their way to gather supplies for the class. I was a product of Baltimore City Public Schools. I graduated from Falls Park High School. Some of the things I was taught in those classes, I couldn't put on the application out here when I got older and started to go to work. Is city government working? Uh, I wouldn't say that city government isn't working, but who is it working for in the betterment? That would be the better question. But a lot of them, I think they just in it for themselves. Basically. Are they effective at all? I don't see it. I do believe it works for the people that know how to work it. A part of me wants to say they're trying their best, but I know that they definitely could try harder. And if they really wanted to, they could put on the effort. We will see lots of changes around here. In November, voters will decide whether to shrink the size of the city council from 14 member districts to eight. I think we got too many people on board putting out too much money. You don't need all of them. You know, I think they need to be cut put more money back into the city where it needed. I wouldn't say that we're over governed. I would just say we probably need to diversify the representation though so that we can get a voice from all parts of the city. I just don't pay attention to them at all. I mean, I just try to live my life the best way I can without politics in my life, basically, without depending on government. And a lot of the money that goes into the city never comes out to the community. Some people just don't have hope. I mean, I don't vote uh, anymore. Do you have any confidence in city council itself? No. No confidence in government because it's supposed to be for the people. I think it's just for the government. I think it's for the politicians. It's only an impression, but on this final stop, frustration appears to be growing. The Baltimore's looking old. And confidence appears to be sinking. The last time I voted, maybe 10 years ago, or maybe or so, first and last time. But I just don't see it working for me. If you get the right people to step up, and speak on behalf of truth as far as what needs to be done and not what just want to be done by certain people in position. I think that would definitely see a change. If not, government would be government. <laughs> after 14 stops, the soapbox is showing signs of fatigue after providing firm footing on some most unstable ground. Well, we just got to keep voting and put our trust in God and keep on moving. In the 4th District. Thank you very much. Thank you I very much. I appreciate you. Jeff Abel. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. A blessed day. Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.